If you've watched any of our previous videos, you're probably already aware that Southern Florida's fishing scene is unprecedented. However, deep sea fishing in Miami definitely deserves its own video. Why you ask? Well, when it comes to the overall action, the size of the fish, access to reefs and other offshore fishing grounds, as well as the amount of charters available, the Magic City is truly unlike any other place in the US. That's why in today's video, we'll be exploring Miami's coastline to check out its deep sea fishing potential. After watching, you'll wanna pack your bags and start planning your adventure in one of the most exciting and dynamic cities that the Sunshine State has to offer. But before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to watch more videos about the hottest fishing spots around the world. When it comes to deep sea fishing in Miami, it's hard to even know where to begin. The main appeal is the possibility to catch, well, everything. And that's no exaggeration. Here, some of Florida's largest deep sea fish hang out only a couple of miles from the coast. Anything from billfish and other trophy-sized pelagics to delicious bottom dwellers. Miami's geography has everything to do with that. It's close to some of the most productive reefs in Florida while at the same time having access to the Gulf Stream, which can approach just a few miles off the coast, depending on the time of year. That means you don't have to travel too far to start reeling in some of the Sunshine State's most sought after species. The first on our list is sailfish. They're the fastest fish in the ocean and one of the most challenging, yet rewarding to catch. They're also strong and famous for their fighting abilities, which means you should be prepared for their lightning speed, athleticism, and impressive sizes. The best time to target sailfish is actually during the winter months, specifically from November to April. This is because the Gulf Stream funnels warm water along Miami's coast during the colder months, making the wintertime irresistible. And sailfish aren't the only billfish living in these waters. Swordfish are also a top target, albeit much harder to locate and even more challenging to catch. For them, you need to travel much further offshore since they prefer deep canyons as their hunting grounds. So the water should be anywhere between 1,000 to 2,000 feet deep. The next fish on our radar is mahi-mahi, a much more common catch than swordfish. In fact, mahi-mahi are the staple of deep sea fishing in Miami. They're a fun fish to target, come in all shapes and sizes, and make for absolutely delicious table fare. The fish is open year round, but the best mahi bite is usually between May and August. King mackerel are another frequent catch in Miami's waters. Their torpedo speed and fierce appearance are just some of the things that make them as fun to target as mahi and sometimes even more challenging. They can weigh up to 50 pounds and they don't shy away from cutting your line with a snap of their teeth. They feed in depths of up to 150 feet, usually around cutoffs and reefs. The best time to target trophy kingfish is in the spring, specifically April through May, as well as the fall between September and November. And then there's tuna. Several varieties visit Southern Florida in limited numbers, but blackfins are the most common. The best time to go after them is usually in the spring from April to July. This is when schools of tuna rush the local waters in search of food. Judging by this list, you can already tell that Miami's deep sea fishing scene is quite diverse. Bottom fishing also proves this point with grouper, snapper, amberjack, and even tilefish lurking and hunting over numerous wrecks and reefs in nearshore and offshore areas throughout the whole year. These are just some of the fish you can catch in Miami's offshore waters, but be sure to keep watching to find out where some of the hottest deep sea fishing spots are. What makes deep sea fishing in Miami so special is the fact that you don't have to travel too far to start catching big fish. You can target some of Florida's most famous big game species with the Magic City skyline in the background. One of the most popular fishing spots in Miami for both inshore and deep sea anglers is Key Biscayne. Not far from the edge of the key, you'll find waters brimming with mahi-mahi, sailfish, snapper, grouper, sharks, and many more. Another spot that you don't have to travel too far to in order to start catching big fish is a famous drop-off called the Edge. Lots of bait fish gather here and with it, lots of predators. Anything from kingfish to tuna can find its way to your line. While we're on the topic of catching big fish close to shore, Government Cut is a go-to spot. This man-made channel is one of the best in the area for targeting mahi-mahi and even sailfish. Just a little further out, you've got the famous Liberty Ship Reef. This area is well known for excellent grouper and snapper fishing. You can also reel in the likes of amberjack, barracuda, 
and sometimes even sailfish. Another reef to check out is the Bat Shoal Reef. Sailfish is the most prized catch here along with large snapper and grouper. And those are just some of the reefs in the area. The best way to check them out would be to hop on a Miami fishing charter and have a local captain show you all the best spots. And if you're on a charter, you might also want to go fishing along the Gulf Stream. Although it's not a specific fishing spot, this warm water current serves as a fast moving highway for some of the Gulf's largest specimens. Mahi Mahi, sailfish, and wahoo are just some of the big game fish you can catch here. Now that you know what to catch and where to catch them, be sure to keep watching to learn about some of the top deep sea fishing techniques in Miami. Once you plan your trip here, you'll have plenty of deep sea fishing charters available that will help you navigate the waters and use the best technique based on what you specifically want to target. One of the top techniques used in deeper waters is trolling. It's one of the most productive ways to go fishing in Miami's offshore waters and can be used to catch a wide variety of fish. It yields great results year round while species differ slightly with every season. Anything from mahi-mahi, sailfish, marlin, wahoo, and king mackerel to tuna is fair game. With the Gulf Stream so close to shore in the winter, deep sea trolling is at its best during the coldest time of the year. Trolling only a mile or two from the beach can lead to some great catches. It's best to have up to eight rods in the water simultaneously with different choices of bait. Anything from pilchard, ballyhoo, and google eye to bonito strips is a good choice. And don't forget trolling over reefs and wrecks could be extra productive as well. If you want even more information on how to go trolling, be sure to check out our other video by hitting the link in the description below. And while you're already fishing over reefs and wrecks, you might also want to try some bottom fishing. Bottom fishing around reefs can yield solid amounts of good eating fish, and you'll find some trophy sized specimens around wrecks. Anchoring will work well for just about every snapper species. For bigger fish that prefer deeper waters, deep dropping is the way to go. Golden tilefish is the ultimate prize when using this technique, as well as sizable amberjacks and groupers. You can also try less conventional techniques such as kite fishing. This works particularly well when targeting something like sailfish, for example. Whichever species you choose to target though, your captain will recommend the most effective technique for your trip. Now that you have a better idea of what deep sea fishing in Miami looks like, it's time to familiarize yourself with some of the local rules and regulations. The most important thing to note is that if you're fishing on your own, you'll need to purchase a Florida fishing license. However, if you're hopping on a charter boat, your license is covered in the cost of the trip. For more information on getting a fishing license in Florida, check out our full video by hitting the link in the description below. In terms of equipment, conventional fishing gear is usually always included. However, if you wish to go kite fishing, fly fishing, or even spear fishing, be sure to double check with the captain whether the equipment is provided on board or not, or let them know to bring it with them before your trip. We also have a more in-depth video about what to pack on a charter fishing trip, so be sure to check that out by clicking on the link in the description. And last but not least, be sure you're always paying attention to size and bag limits as well as fish seasonality. That's also something your captain will help you understand before you head out. And when you're finally ready, Fishing Booker is here to help make planning your trip a breeze. You can find a deep sea fishing trip in Miami that's perfect for you by downloading our app from the Google Play or App Store, or by simply visiting fishingbooker.com. With hundreds of local guides, verified reviews, and hassle-free online bookings, you'll save time and money and experience an exciting day on the water. So go ahead and download our app or visit us online and start planning your deep sea fishing adventure today.